Hello everyone. So welcome back to the second episode of Dental Digest with the Study Boards. Now in today's episode, we will be talking about one of the most important topics in bacterial infections that has been tested extensively in your examinations, that is syphilis. So let's dive straight into it. So today's topic is syphilis in dentistry. Now we will be talking about its cause and transmission. We'll be talking about its stages symptoms, diagnosis, and then finally the treatment. So let's start with the cause of it. Now syphilis is caused by treponema pallidum. And this is a straightforward question or they can ask you whether it's a spirochete bacterium or not. So you need to understand spirochete as well as well as the fact that it is treponema pallidum. Next thing is the transmission. Now it could be transmitted from sexual contact Vertical transmission, vertical transmission as in from mother to the child or direct contact with the infectious lesions. So this is regarding the cause and transmission of syphilis. Now next part is that we have to understand different stages of syphilis. So there are three main stages, primary, secondary and tertiary. So we will study one by one each of these stages in syphilis. Let's study about the primary stage of syphilis. The first point that you need to understand is regarding the incubation period, which is going to be anywhere between 14 to 21 days. And they will ask you a straightforward question or they can ask you even in weeks, whether it is two to three weeks, three to four weeks, such kind of questions. The next thing that you need to remember is the classical sign. That is presentation of chancre. Now there are two main points that you need to remember from this. The first one is that the patient presents with a painless, firm and red ulcers that secrete very infectious fluid. And the second point is what are the common sites of chancre? That is genitals, oral cavity, cervix and labia. Now a patient who is suffering from primary stage has certain oral manifestations. So what are those oral manifestations? These patients present with chancre on the lips, tongue gingiva or tonsils and sometimes these are very painful as well because of secondary infections that can happen alongside. Now let's study about the secondary syphilis. First point is regarding the onset. So the onset is four to eight weeks after primary infection has happened. Now the next point is three classical signs that the patient will present to us with. The first sign is there are oral mucus patches and these patches are red painless lesions. The second point is condyloma latum. Now, what is condyloma latum? It is a broad wart-like lesion that the patient presents to us with. And the third one is maculopapular rash, which often happens on the palms and sole of the patient. Very important. Now, there are some certain oral manifestations as well that you could be tested upon. So, these are snail track ulcers or mucus patches that are seen on the palate or the buccal mucosa. There are some other symptoms as well that the patient can present to us with like fever, malaise, generalized lymphadenopathy, arthritis, hepatitis, glomerulonephritis. But this is not important. You just have to remember maculopapara rash, condyloma latum. This is important. Okay. And what is the onset of it? Now, next is tertiary syphilis. First point we need to understand is the onset. So, it develops only in untreated cases. Now, there are some classical signs that we need to remember for tertiary syphilis. The first one is gamma. So, these are painless nodules that can ulcerate and cause tissue destruction. This is important. The second point is regarding CNS involvement, where the patient can present to us with neurosyphilis, which is even going to be potentially fatal at times. So very important. The third one is cardiovascular involvement and this can lead to serious complications. So CNS involvement and CVS involvement. Then there are some oral manifestations like gametous lesions in the oropharynx which can be potentially causing perforations or even osteomyelitis. Now the next topic is very important that is congenital syphilis. So congenital syphilis, it occurs when treponema pallidum, the bacterium that is causing syphilis, it is transmitted from the infected mother to her baby during pregnancy or even during the childbirth. Now there are certain manifestations that we need to remember from the exam perspective. The first manifestation is Hutchinson's triad, which is specific for congenital syphilis. And there are three main things that come under this, Hutchinson's teeth, 
इंटरस्टिशियल कैरेटाइटिस एंड सेंसो न्यूरल हियरिंग लॉस सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज हचिनसन स्टीट सो दीज आर हाइपो प्लास्टिक और पेग शेप्ड परमानेंट टीथ एंड दीज यूजली अफेक्ट अपर सेंट्रल एंड साइजर्स दिस इज एन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन वॉट टीथ डज इट अफेक्ट अपर सेंट्रल एंड साइजर्स सेकेंड पॉइंट इज इंटरस्टिशियल कैरेटाइटिस now interstitial keratitis is inflammation of the cornea leading to scarring and this can cause vision problems or even blindness and the third point is senso neural hearing loss that is progressive hearing loss due to the damage to the inner ear or the auditory nerve and they can ask the straightforward question that where does the damage happen that is damage happening to the inner ear or even auditory nerve now the next point or next manifestation is mulberry molars now mulberry molars are multiple rounded rudimentary enamel cusps on the permanent first molars permanent first molars and second point is that they are also known as moons molars or fourniers molars straight forward question could be tested on this now congenital syphilis is further divided into two main types the first one is early congenital syphilis where the symptoms are appearing before the age of 2 and the second one is late congenital syphilis where the symptoms appear after the age of 2 so what are the key points to remember first point is what is the cause of syphilis that is streptonema pallidum or they can ask you what it is it is a spirochete bacterium transmission it happens through three main things sexual contact vertical transmission that is from mother to child or direct contact with the infectious lesions next point is three stages that is primary secondary and tertiary primary is the incubation period is important 14 to 21 days classical sign as in chancre which is painless firm red ulcers oral manifestations chancre is happening on lips tongue gingiva tonsils then secondary syphilis onset is 4 to 8 weeks after the primary infection and what are the classical signs oral mucus patches condyloma latum and maculopapular rash some other symptoms could also be there but you have to remember the snail track ulcers next we talked about tertiary syphilis that is only going to develop in the untreated cases and classical signs like a gamma appears in that and then there is cns involvement cvs involvement that is important then we talked about congenital syphilis and in congenital syphilis we talked about hutchinson's triad hutchinson's teeth interstitial keratitis and sensory neural hearing loss which is a progressive hearing loss some other signs could also be seen like mulberry molars also known as fourniers or moons molars now for the diagnosis you can do four main things either you can do rapid antigen detection test or you can do throat culture or you can do dark field microscopy or some serological tests could also be done but you will not be tested about this in your exam now prevention would be like safe sexual practices safe blood transfusion methods or even isolation of the infectious patients during primary and secondary stage so they can ask you that what stages is the patient actually infective so you have to understand isolation of such patients has to be done in primary and secondary stages so that's pretty much it for today's episode on syphilis stay tuned for more such episodes in our oral pathology bacterial infection series in the dental digest with the study boards and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for updates on our latest videos thank you so much for watching and see you next time take care